चले गाय वी कैन स्टार्ट दी लास्ट सेशन फर्स्ट थिंग आई एम हैप्पी टू हियर डैट कि जब आफ्टर आई कंप्लीटेड माई फर्स्ट सेशन टू लॉट ऑफ गुड डिस्कशन कि एटलीस्ट नाउ यू गाय स्टार्टेड यूजिंग एंड अप्लाइंग कि यस ए एस माइट बी नीडेड एट लीस्ट द नीड बेस द नीड बेस विच आई वॉज थिंकिंग कि मुझे वो नीड बेस क्रिएट करना है वो आई होप डैट इंजेक्शन हैज बीन इंसर्टेड और बख्शी साहब इज हेयर ओनली टू इंसर्ट एड इंजेक्शन पर्पज ओनली डैट वो देर वॉज वन वेरी गुड क्वेरी विच वॉज आज स्पेशली बाय द न्यू आई आई टीज एंड न्यू आई एम्स आई डील डैट इशू टूमोरो बिकॉज इट डील्स विद जो नए नए आई आई टीज आए हैं आई एम्स हैं दे हैव क्रिएटेड न्यू बिल्डिंग्स राइट टेम्प्रेरी बिल्डिंग फॉर टाइमिंग हाउ टू डील विद दो टेम्प्रेरी बिल्डिंग हाउ टू रिकॉर्ड एड एसेट विल डिस्कस डैट टमोरो बिकॉज टमोरो सेशन प्राइमरी विल बी ओनली एस सिक्स ए एस टेन एंड एस थर्टीन विच इज अ मेजर पार्ट डेप्रिसिएशन फिक्स एसेट देर वॉज वन मोर क्वेरी वाई एम शेयरिंग ऑल दोज क्वेरीज बिकॉज माइट बी इट कैन बी इन योर माइंड ऑल्सो बिकॉज दिज अ वेरी कॉमन डिस्कशन वन क्वेरी वॉज एट सपोज आई एम पेंटिंग माई स्कूल विल इट बी एड इड टू माई कॉस्ट आई एल डिस्कस दिस टू मॉरेट इज डिफाइन इन ए एस टेन ए एस टेन टॉक्स अबाउट रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर एंड द कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर so there are some different parameters for revenue and capital generally i have seen people think any expenditure which is large is capital which is small is revenue that is not i'll take up one example then i'll proceed with today's session most of you sitting most of us i should say sitting here are getting a salary of let's say lakh per month you salary but if you want to purchase one chair what can be the cost of one chair i don't know how much can be cost of one chair how much 9000 sir one chair one plastic chair come on sir right 500 Right, ma'am. Five hundred. Chal. Sir, you are a rich guy. I can understand. I am Calcutta. I can understand. Nine thousand. ऐसा तो नहीं है कि five hundred chairs you are showing at nine thousand. Yes. That means the first before giving the rate, we should say which type of chair. But even sir, either it is nine thousand chairs or five hundred chairs. Both are chairs. both you will be showing in your balance sheet under the heading furniture isn't it it means the amount is irrelevant but salary whether you get 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh you always show salary as a revenue expenditure so kindly i have just introduced one point it was relevant for tomorrow session but as it was asked during the break so i have just hinted here never in your life decide on the amount amount is never the criteria for revenue or capital even a single pen drive nowadays even 1 gb pen drive is 100 rupees but you want to use pen drive for longer period it's an asset so there are three or four points which we will be sharing tomorrow about as6 now the major part is as9 revenue recognition again if you see in most of the annual report we always find as9 they always give about revenue recognition i was reading one annual report it was written there we record our all the income on the accrual basis except miscellaneous receipt right miscellaneous means any fines any penalties let's say it means that they are recording on cash basis i have just mentioned as one 
until unless there is a deviation no need to mention it so there was a deviation they have mentioned it in one annual report it was written all income are recorded on annual except tuition fees we record tuition fee on the cash basis the problem arises jaise sir ne point raise kiya tha because of the years right the year which we take it the year in accounts is april to march but academic year generally starts especially in colleges it's off from july so logically you get a fees in july so how to record that as 9 only talks about that the best part of as the best part of all the accounting standards are all accounting standard deals with different issues as 1 was only telling you how to frame the accounting policy it means when you are preparing accounting policy what you should keep in mind as we took the example of sir mag example we took it it was a specific it means accounting policy can be different then we took example the primary is it should not hide anything then we took a secondary consideration we took example sandeep at that time then we took the example of assumption it means as1 only talks about how to prepare accounting policy and what to be disclosed what not to be disclosed one of my statement was misinterpreted let me clarify here sir aapne pucha tha i said that you can revise your accounting policy every year whenever new things comes maine ye aapko bataya tha it was understood in this way that you can change your accounting policy n number of times sorry no no as1 as5 as6 as2 mentions clearly about change in accounting policy i'll be discussing it tomorrow accounting policy can be only change if three reasons allows law says accounting standard says and better presentation what detail me i'll be discussing tomorrow abhi nahi theek hai sir now another another point which was asked by most sir about presentation i'll be giving my presentation here also i'll be uploading that presentation on my website also you just aaj ka jitna presentation hai i'll be up putting it here just click latest events you'll get the presentation all presentations now as 9 basically talks about revenue recognition if i say revenue first we should understand what is revenue here it's very very pertinent for every one of us every one of us i'm telling you recognition means timing when to record the entry jo sir aapki query thi bopal mein when to record the entry this as only talks about when to record the entry i'll take four or five examples here Le- very less in presentation i never believe in ppts if i just show you i hope most of us must have visited this website which website flipkart amazon ebay no these are those website i think most of us must have done at least minimum one shopping have you ever realized if i book the order today 11th may quarter past 4 my order will be placed right and i'm clicking cod cash on delivery it is no payment made they will immediately generate me a receipt number order number a tracker number tracking number if you have seen properly at any time if you have gone down there is a one help cancellation and returns if you see the cancellations and returns they have on different items if you see they are saying in the third last line exchange or refund backed by the 30 days replacement guarantee 
It means if I am placing a pen drive order today, 11th, guaranteed it will not be delivered to me today. Maybe tomorrow, right? Maybe day after tomorrow. 13th. Now, if you, you, we, or any one of us is the accountant for Flipkart, whether I should make sale entry on 11th at quarter past 4, or I should make the entry on 13th when the goods are delivered, or I should wait for 30 days because even if it is del delivered on 13th, even if it is delivered on 13th, still there is a possibility it might be returned. Agar return ho jayega, then your money will be back. It is not a sale. It is not a sale. So in this AS, we are only talking about, only discussing when to pass the entry. If you have admissions fee, milti hai, fines, hai, penalties, hai, examination fees, hai, research, hai, workshop fees, hai. there are a lot of amount. Let's take this workshop example. If I'm assuming it, that this workshop is a paid workshop. I remember we started working for this workshop in the month of um, April. April we started working for Let's suppose we have started in the month of March. So logically, some of you might have paid in the month of March. Some of you might have paid in the month of April. Some of you might have just paid in May. Then logically, IIT has to decide whether money received by March is the income of last year or of current year. Any amount which is received later should be recorded when. So it only talks about this. Sabse easy AS, very easy to understand. Entire accounting standard only talks about three points. Revenue from goods, right? Revenue from services, right? And revenue others. Entire presentation may be covered. It's been boss, different ways I'll be taking it. If I take a, one example. Let's suppose this is a pen drive which has been ordered. Yep, that's a bo water bottle I have ordered through Flipkart on 11th May. I have booked through COD, cash on delivery. Immediately they will be received. Now, first question should I record it on 11th? First, okay. Now on 13th, a courier guy comes, let's suppose he's the courier guy, hold this, and he wants to deliver this to me. When I booked this order, it was written there, along with this water bottle, there will be one sketch pen free, right? So logically, when he is giving me this water bottle, this sketch pen also has to be given by him. When he is giving me the water bottle, I have received this on which day, 13th, right? If I have received the water bottle, it means he has given me this, but has he given me the reward, the free gift? Tell me now, should I pay him or not? Should I pay him or not? Why? Terms and conditions are not being satisfied. In terms of AS, it is known as risk and reward. This was risk. This was reward. Now let's suppose, if I take one more example here. He is giving me this, right? And he drops this. Tell me, will I pay? As a customer, I will not pay. It means condition is not satisfied. It is not transferred to me. Similarly, if you are offering a service until unless service has been delivered to a person, no. Now, let's suppose one more. If he gives me both, both, 
Thank you. He gives me both. It means on 11th May, order placed. On 13th, I have got the risk, I have got the reward. Now, I'm, now he says, give me the money. He says, give me the money. I took out a gun. I took out a knife. I said, rush. I'm not paying any money. You want to save a life or money? Logically, he'll be saving a life. He goes back. When he goes back and he informs Flipkart, I have given the goods, but I have not got the cash. And there is no chance of recovering the cash. Because the person has clearly said, if you come and ask me the cash, I will kill you. Guaranteed. Tell me there is a certainty of the money being received or not. Kya paisa milega ya nahi milega? Very good. Legal action. Hai. He is saying legal action. Very good. You take a legal action. It means, it's only one example. It means when there is a chance that money will not be recovered, at least wait. Till now, you have not passed the entry. Why? What's the hurry? What's the hurry to pass the entry? AS says very clearly, ownership should be transferred. That is a bill. Bill should be in your name. Second, goods should have been delivered to you. And there should be an assurance from the party that they will pay the money. If there is no assurance, there is uncertainty, right? Then guaranteed you don't record it. Like in this workshop, until unless the confirmation doesn't come, they will never book anything for you guys. Simple. It means uncertainty. Exactly in anyone, anyone's organization example. Agar koi bhi aisa case aata hai, where let's suppose you have made an application for some grants and you're not sure whether the grant will be received or not. Until unless it is actually received, don't make an entry. Don't make an entry. I'll take one example. In your case, there was one case which, come, which came to our office. There was one school, private school I'm talking about. They came to us. They said, sir, we are planning to we are planning to revise our tuition fee. I said, very good, do it. They said, no, sir, we, are, we have come here with a very specific query. I said, what's the query? They said, we want to increase the tuition fee not from April. They came to me in the month of April. They came to me in the month of April. They said, we are not increasing from April. We are increasing from backwards from January onwards. I said, how is it possible? Students must have already paid a fees for January, February, and March. Fees is quarterly paid in advance. No parent will pay you. They said, no, sir, we are private school. We will hold the result of the students unless until their parent doesn't pay us the increased fees. Now you tell me, who who will pay the backward fees, January, February, March? Is it 100% sure it will be received or there's a doubt? There's a doubt. Very clearly, so I said to them very clearly, our AS9 clearly said in such transactions, which is in starting doubtful, starting say doubtful, hai. So please wait unless until you get the money. Do not make an entry. Otherwise, what will happen? You will make the entry assuming they had 1,000 students and they were increasing the fees 1,000. So 1,000 to 1,000. How much it becomes? Ma'am, your math was very good. Sorry? 10 lakh. Sir, 1,000 to 1,000. Right? Ma'am has taught me the math also. Very good. 10 lakh. It means 10 lakh rupees. I said to them, if you make a revenue entry of 10 lakh, you will show in your books. It is a private school. You have to pay a tax. 
you will pay a tax right now right and let's suppose parent doesn't pay you and what happens you have to again apply for the refund everything a long process follow the as as says very clearly as says unless until it is assured don't even pass the entry at present i'm only discussing those cases when uncertainty is before the entry before the entry i'll discuss those cases also which comes after before the entry let's take one more case let's take one more case i'll pick some young guy so your name anup sharma so burani mana ko example hoga theek hai bad i am taking one example anup some different example apart from studies but to explain this let's suppose mari jogi aapki nahi very good mujhe aise hi chahiye tha brilliant let's suppose mr anup is in love is in love with a girl theek hai koi hai abhi naam batao sir acha koi baat mera kya naam mera naam rakhta hu theek hai let's suppose he is in love with a girl naam rakhte hain x y z koi bhi why i am taking i am just explaining the conditions so that you can understand the when you are judging in the real life those things can strike you he went and proposed a girl and gave a gift let's say diamond ring and said i am giving you a 15 days trial period 15 days trial period whether he say yes or no he came back said to his mother mama be ready for my marriage mama ne ka ladki pasand kar li hai he said yes i have selected a girl i have already gifted and after 15 days we are going and guaranteed marriage will be done mother said what are the conditions he said very clearly i have told her very very clearly 15 days trial period if in these 15 days you don't say yes or no 16 day i'll come and take you it means if time period expires then sale is done same in flipkart if a time period let's say 30 days expires then will flipkart takes your goods back no it applies to you to us also we always says refund policy in a new admission if a student has taken admission in iit let's say bombay and he has got a admission in let's say iit kharagpur so he may take a transfer is it possible madam agar iit delhi mein kisi admission liya hai aur wo transfer ke liye kya students permitted hota hai no nahi hota but in case of colleges it is allowed iit mein maybe a rule is not there but in du university of delhi that rule is allowed if i have taken a admission let's say in hindu college and in the second list my name comes in srcc then logically i'll cancel the admission of hindu college i'll go to the srcc and my fees has to be refunded they always give us a time period take the admission take the example today my daughter she is 3 years the younger one i have just admitted her in nursery admission so if i have taken admission in one school and now if she has got admission in one other school i'll cancel the previous one take the fees back right and get the admission in the new school each school gives a time period within this come otherwise your money will be forfeited or will not be refunded exactly here as in case of anup before 15 days there is always a uncertainty but after 15 there is a assurance if girl doesn't say yes or no assurance that sale will be done but within 15 days if girl say yes marriage will be done or not pakka ji it means in flipkart after placing the order after week i phone i mail i give a letter to flipkart yes i am happy with your goods i am not returning it back iska matlab sale has been done it means if a student writes to you 
I have taken admission here. I am not coming for the refund. I don't have a time, right? If you give it, fair enough. If you don't give it, ignore it. It means that refund will become your income at that point. Otherwise, refund you cannot show in your income. What happens? We show all the fees immediately. The moment we receive the fees, we show it. But please understand, you should not, especially in the new admissions, especially if cancellations are allowed, you should never, never, never record it because there's a possibility that you might have to refund the money back. That is the reason. Wait until unless certainty is there. Do not record the entry. Record the entry when all the transactions are complete. To record the, because we all are here primarily dealing in services. Services can be dealt in two ways. One is completed contract method. Completed contract method. Completed means if Mr. Bakshi, let's suppose, has given me a contract for two years, and he says, you take n number of workshop, agreement is, let's say, 2 lakh rupees. One way is I will not record 2 lakh as my income unless all the workshops are completed. I'll only complete all the workshops, get 2 lakh rupees check, right, and record it in that year. But tell me, is it advisable? Tell me, is it advisable to record 2 lakh in one year? What's, what is my loss in that? Higher tax. My entire tax will be divided on 2 lakh rupees. So our AS says very clearly, if you're not following completed, simple. Follow the percentage completion method. Percentage means stages wise. If in two years, in the first year, I've completed 10 workshops, so 1 lakh is my revenue. That 1 lakh, whether I've received or not, I have just taken a lecture. He has not paid me away. But still, it is my revenue. Now he can't refuse it. It is accrual. That is accrual. Now I can't, now I can pass an entry. Assurance. To make sure before making a sale entry, before making a revenue entry, because that's a major risky entry for you guys. Because even income tax department primarily looks at that part. Auditor mainly looks at that part. So when you're making your revenue entry, fees, admission fees, membership fees, workshop fees, subscriptions, are expenditures for you guys. Whenever you receive this grant, you are receiving it. If grant is a conditional grant, this Anand will be taking in AS12. Let's suppose C Institute gives a grant to me and says, Pankaj, you go and teach in a backward region. We will not charge any money from you, no tax. We will tell to income tax department for five years. If I go there, settle there, my condition is fulfilled. In that case, only then I can record the revenue. So kindly, kindly make sure that you will not record it unless it is certain. So entire point is only two things. First, there should be certainty or the assurance of the money to be received. Agar doubt hai, wait kar lije. Do not even record it. Mr. Raman, let's suppose, is a chartered accountant. He has done MBA from Ahem Ahmedabad. He must be having a very good package. He came to a private jeweler. He came to a private jeweler. He said, sir, I have done CA. I am the MBA from Ahem Ahmedabad. I have seen your products. You are mainly into diamond jewelry and gold jewelry. I can increase your sales, increase your sales, increase your revenue 10 times. Let's suppose I am the jeweler. I said, very good. I immediately asked my manager, appoint him. He was appointed as a manager. What he did, he started artificial jewelry in my 
business. I was dealing in what? Gold? Diamond? He started artificial jewelry halls. He visited a lot of schools, colleges, right? Maximum girls are now fascinated by the artificial jewelry. So he made huge sales, huge sales. But there was a catch. There was a catch. He has written there, if you do not find it good, kindly get it replaced within 30 days. After one year, I checked the results. The sale graph, the sale graph of artificial jewelry was from zero to this. High point. I was very happy. The sales has increased. I immediately asked my manager, kindly come, show me the cash. He said, what cash? Not even a single amount of cash. Not even a single rupee cash. I said, he is showing the graph of sales is this. Where the cash has gone? Tell me, where the cash has gone? Yes. Sure. Sure. Ma'am, assurance is any. What was the condition? 30 days? Girls were so smart. Girls were so smart. It was a credit sale. Right? Girls were so smart. 29th of every month, girls came, said, my husband didn't like it. My boyfriend didn't like it. They exchanged the jewelry and took the new one. So logically, the old jewelry was given and new was taken again a new 30 days period. I am telling you a real life case. Real life case I am telling you, one of my client. Sales zero. And what he did, he showed sales assuming, he showed sales on a cruel basis assuming cash will come. Girls were so smart, there was no cash. You are showing sales as an income, you are showing debtors, your customers. But there was a guaranteed, because there was a replacement period, there was a risk that girls might return all the goods. It means you should not have recorded it as a sales, unless your 30 days period clears. So make sure if in any item, it's very tough for me also to know about each and every item of the institution. But at a KCV item, any point of time, if you face that there is a some condition, there is some problem that revenue might not be recorded, wait. Can anyone share any example? Because it's very tough for me to know the revenue structure of your organization. Any example? Kabi asa koi aaya hai jisme refund ki conditions hoti hai, jisme days ka point hota hai. Sir, fees, jitna mujhe pata hai, fees maximum is taken in advance. Fees generally is taken in advance. No, no, sir, so you have given an example, that when the first decision is made, then the first decision is made, then the first decision is made, then the first decision is made. So, I think that today, you have deposited 50,000 admission. Okay, you have charged it for 30 days, and you have to pay for 30 days. If you have to pay for 30 days, then you have to pay for 30 days, then you have to pay for 30 days. Sir, exactly the same thing I am saying. You don't record it as a revenue. What I'm saying? Entry is ki sir? Revenue ki. Sir, accounts is very clear. You got the bank, right? Credit, credit can be, I am very, very clear. For me, entire accounts is LIC. LIC. If I give the rules, I don't know how you guys have learned the rules. It's very simple rules. I, C, L, I, C. L is liability, income, and I is income, C is capital. L is liability, I is income, C is capital. L, I, C, remember, karo, all liability, all income, all capital, always credited. Always. So, you have a bank, 
क्रेडिट में डोंट रिकॉर्ड इनकम एक इट इज अ रिफंडेबल एक इट इज अ रिफंडेबल इवन आनंद विल टेल यू ए एस ट्वेल्व में होता है ग्रांट्स में एनी ग्रांट विच इज रिफंडेबल ग्रांट अंटिल अनलेस कंडीशन आर फुलफिल यू डोंट रिकॉर्ड एज अ रेवेन्यू यू शो इट एज अ रिफंडेबल ग्रांट वेन इट बिकम्स अ इनकम इट गोज देयर इनकम साइड आई डोंट सिंग सो एटलीस्ट पोस्टपोन इट एनी अदर एग्जाम्पल यस मैम so 3 months is income received in advance 9 months is income received for advance for services rendered then uh, about the uh, contractual income say like rent when we give rent on building of course rent for march a uh, cruise in march but they will pay in april so rent for till march can be taken on a cruel basis that is a sure income and uh, what cannot be taken on a cruel basis is only occasional uh, levies like fines these are occasional so these can certainly not be uh, uh, accounted on a cruel basis these have will be on realization only and then about uh, the um, you were saying about the not to take the revenue confirm until the uh, refund period is over so actually in practice what do we do we 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 take it uh, as income but we as we refund we reduce the income that entry is passed yes. because the refund will happen in one month it is not allowed throughout the year it happens within one month so uh, I, that is the way what we do so anyway that is just a matter of sharing you yeah, perfectly fine yeah, even that's also one of the way because as just advises you if if there is a uncertainty if possible you postpone it even the treatment which ma'am is saying is perfectly fine you record it and let's suppose later refund it you reverse the entry if i'm saying bank to income when you refunding it you get income to bank that is a reduce from it another possibility which arises let's suppose you have recorded the income you have written the entry bank account debit to income entry ho gaya after 5 months 6 months right the person let's suppose i am the student of iit bombay let's say i'm just assuming it right and if i have paid a quarterly fees july august september agreed i have paid the fees now let's suppose i have not paid for october i have net i have not paid for november i have not paid for december let's say january i know by that time they will ask me to leave i know it but i'm assuming it january let's say february and march i have not paid and you are recording income on accrual basis it means then i must have passed the entry from july to september if i have paid on 1st july then guaranteed all of you must have passed this entry shall you do the pass right let's suppose if october to december jan to march i have not paid the fees and you are recording on accrual basis accrual means i have not paid the fees but i am your student so you will record as a income right so guaranteed you will write fees right sir receivable to agreed S- same here let's suppose fees is 1000 1000 and 1000 in income expenditure you will show your fees 
in your balance sheet, you will show bank and fees receivable. Are you guys here? Now, what I'm taking is, if you are recording fees on accrual basis, then what can be the points which you may face or which you might be facing it? Let's suppose one student doesn't pay the fees and he is making a request on every month basis, sir, there's a fam some family problem, we'll pay the fees, his father comes, give the assurance, and your principal agrees, okay, let's wait, let's wait. But let's suppose this person has not paid for two months. Is there 100% chance that money will be received or there's a doubt? There's a doubt. But the problem is, but the problem is, now you have already passed the entry. And in accounts, the problem is, you don't have an eraser. Accounts may rubber nahi hai. You can't erase this entry. That is the reason. AS is very clear. AS kata hai, no issue. If you have passed the entry and later you realized that this revenue might not be recoverable, might not be received, no issue. Might, I have not said actual, may. We have just done in AS1 prudence. It means if it is not received, your loss, immediately you please create a provision. It means very simple. If this is a date, 11th May, if before 11th May, you are not sure about revenue, don't pass the entry, wait for if, if you can wait, if you can wait, wait. If you want to pass the entry, make it later if you, later if there is uncertainty, immediately create a provision. Immediately create a provision. So when you, when you are framing your accounting policies for revenue recognition, I am not teaching AS, I am just focusing on accounting policies. Because if your policies are right, in your accounting policies, in revenue recognition, right in this way, revenue, all revenues are recorded as per AS9. It means they are recorded when there is a certainty. If there is an uncertainty, we have created a provision. That's the provision is 10%. So logically it comes, income expenditure. This provision is actual or estimated. It means it can be revised. You will be dealing with one AS, AS5. AS5 may have changed in accounting estimate. You can revise it. It's not fixed. No one stops you. No one stops you. It's allowed. Because estimate is always a judgment. And we have just done, judgment is always allowed. Provided you have a justification. So, simple logic, if before, postpone it, otherwise provision. Now comes major three more, three more in this. How you guys record interest? Interest, interest on fixed deposits, on investments, how you record it? Accrual basis. If I have made FD on 1st July and you are maintaining as per March, how many months? Nine months. It means you are recording on time basis. Even AS says same. Any interest should be recorded on time basis. Any interest is recorded on time basis. That most of you must be doing it. Right? So if you are doing it, the best logic is just specify as per AS. The major which I hope, I don't, I'm not sure, might be in your case is royalty. Any of the institution, because royalty is generally given to authors. Royalty is generally given to authors. Right, author skill. I have two, three books, so generally agreement is between me and the publisher. But is there any possibility that any agreement is between organization? Has there been Any example, sir?
I got it. Oh, online test knowledge concept. Hai. Right. What he is saying, I still remember two years earlier for one of the organizations, I prepared the proposal for it. CBSC always takes out the advertisement to conduct the online tests. And some external agency comes, they bid for the proposal, they give their rates, and that that rate is being shared. So what you concept? Hai? It's like a franchisee. Okay. Even in some organization, I remember MDI Gurugama. I am maybe what maybe IIT, I don't know. If I am doing, I am a part of let's say IMS, and I've got a project of the World Bank, then logically consulting fees I'll be getting it. If I am the employee of the IMS, then consulting fee will not be given to me. It will be given directly to the IMS. Then IMS will be giving it to me. Because agreement is not between me and the World Bank, now agreement will be between you and the World Bank. Again, that consulting fees, because consulting fee ka agreement over there. It is not required on cash basis. In my World Bank agreement, I get my bill after 20 days. But that does not mean that I will not record the revenue. It means for April, I get on 20th May. For May, on 20th June. For March, I get on 20th April. But I record it as a revenue of March. Reason? When it is given the agreement, I have given my time sheet, even though I get a payment later. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Why I'm raising this point, AS9 is very clear. The purpose of these three days is only not to teach you something, just to tell you when you write in your final accounts, financial statement, you can justify that this is as for AS. And that justification gives a confidence. When you're discussing with statute auditor, CNDG auditor, you can say it is given here. I'll just example, as you were mentioning, sir. There were queries during the break. Sir, doing a receipt side, what's the rule? Where it is written? The auditor were asking. So just mention it is written here. So revenue recognition, mein royalty ke mein clearly likha hua hai. no time basis, nothing. Royalty is as per agreement. As per agreement. Yeah, please. Please, both sir. Right. No, no, ne next, you must have recorded for January, February, March. You can't record it. Sorry? No? You cannot, sir? Let me take it. Let's suppose if I have made a. Okay, okay, sorry. Please, complete. Sorry. Yeah. Ah. Sorry, my, I, I was very, very clear. You can't record April to March. Ah. Ah. But say for example, after the balance sheet was over, uh, my issue is that you are doing the uh, everything. But then you have to get less of interest. How to record? What's simple as this? Hey, let me repeat the query. The query is that on 1st January FD is done, right? And on 30th, and for six months FD, okay? It's a common example for any organization, in individual, anyone. On 31st March, when I'm preparing my balance sheet, right? Logically for three months, I have not received it because it gets compounded, added. So TDS will be directed for those three months, if applicable, right? Let's suppose in the month of April, I get it matured. Each bank cuts 1%. If it's 9%, they'll give you 8%, right? There will be a very minor variation. But please understand the entry which you have made for outstanding, you have not made on 31st March. You must have made it in April or May before finalization of your balance sheet. Till that date, till that date, if you have matured your FD, right, then logically you will only record the actual interest as accrued because receive will be later. But if 
till the date of balance sheet as when i was asking most of you maximum of you ki abhi tak balance sheet nahi bani hai it means may tak if fd mature nahi hua hai then guaranteed 3 months ka interest will be shown in your books next year when you record it your actual interest will come but if before finalization you have closed your fd then logically here comes as5 as4 as4 says event occurring after balance sheet date it is after balance sheet date but pertains to previous year so immediately you will not show now fd in your books and you will record the actual interest and you will show in your notes that this is the actual interest ye concept hota hai to pehle se aapne accrual kiya agar balance sheet date tak wo mature ho gaya hai very good then as per the date as per that you will make the actual entry otherwise you will adjust that in the next year so royalty i was discussing i only take one point the major is the royalty part royalty is accrual basis according to the terms of the agreement now there was one query when i took the session chennai and delhi this tell me how you do it this was a common question which was asked how the fee waiver given to student after academic session is over to be accounted in the books this was a common query asked in chennai and delhi how you guys do it question for you कोचिंग generally happens in coaching institutes they take the fees and then they say if you get the first rank second rank your entire fees will be refunded might be shayad aaj nahi hai maybe in future you may get any such policy so always when you receive make a normal entry and when the refund actual comes at that time you are recording on the cash basis actual basis so this was again a query which was asked at that time so that was my as9 way any doubt of as1 as9 any common query i am through sir please yes sir we pass for some for example uh, for conducting some workshops or something while passing the uh, receivable entry we will pass that uh, receivable entry and uh, sorry uh, that uh, receivable account for example the receivable and the program fee credit and the service tax credit we were thinking we may get afterwards uh, as well as we will pay the service tax also and how about that if 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 that uh, program cancelled or something how about we have to calculate this uh, how, how about the reverse the service tax in a service tax there is a reversal charge you have to apply to the service tax department when you are filing your income uh, service tax return usme reversal charge hota hai theek hai you have to claim that in that case i can issue and the credit in that case we can issue credit note to the party and the service tax charge earlier can be adjusted against my current yes, liability yes and that has to be adjusted in the st return also service tax return may be just hota sir but even even we can do for uh, previous years also i'll take example abhi you must be knowing it in service tax i don't know whether you guys are aware or not i'm just sharing you this is the latest part 
I hope you guys must be knowing it. I'm just sharing it with everyone because this guaranteed must be applicable to you guys. If my professional fees is hundred, my service tax is ten, so my bill I'll be raising for hundred ten. And if TDS rate is twenty percent. Kindly tell me this TDS you apply on hundred, on ten, or on ten. How many of you are saying hundred and ten? Hundred, sir. Ma'am. Ma'am. Till March, till thirty-first March, it was hundred and ten. There is a, yes, ma'am. There is a notification now. I'm just sharing for everyone. Yes, वो लेकिन applicable अभी हुआ है financial year से notification की date दिस month December का है. Yes. So kindly just now it is only on. Hundred. Earlier, before April, it used to be on hundred and ten, and it was a loss. It was a loss for the consultants because from ten they used to cut two rupees. So I used to get eight rupees because I was a sufferer. I know it. When World Bank used to pay me, they used to cut on the total amount, and I used to get eight rupees. But when I when I have to deposit to the services department, I have to deposit ten. So two rupees extra I was depositing it. But now it's very very clear. So there were two queries. His query was, let's suppose for this workshop, IIT Bombay has made the entry. They are assuming it the participant will come. So immediately, they are saying workshop fees. Workshop fees receivable to workshop fee. Let's say to service tax. So you don't have to say. Okay. Fees let's say is hundred. Tax is ten. Because now in service tax, all of you know it is based on point of taxation. So immediately you have the moment you raise a bill. And you have to go for the service tax also. His point was that suppose in future this workshop get cancelled out, or some participant doesn't turn up, so that extra service tax which you have paid to the department, how to adjust that? One was perfectly right. If it's a case of party, you should have credit note, right, and adjust it. But that is only possible if other party is also registered with the service tax department. If other party is not registered, like a student, if you charge from a student service tax, that student is not registered. Ideally, when the a client he has the service tax registration number, then only I can charge service tax, no, or sir. I will charge service tax. No, sir. Let me take a very simple example. Lot of lot of organizations are charging. Let's suppose on fifty thousand fees from a student. Fifty thousand plus service tax. In, in academic area, service tax is not applicable. It is exempted area. Fees, fees to fees received from the student. Sir, only in case I'm I know. For you, it's not applicable because you are a government organization. I'm just when the point comes, I'm discussing it. Okay. Whenever any any coaching fee, any tuition fee, service tax is imposed on that. Right. I'll take example. I am taking my classes. So from each student, if we charge ten thousand, on ten thousand we take service tax, right? No, consultancy is separate. No, it is not fees. No, no, sir. One minute. In the in the academic area where we are pursuing flexib course, there I cannot charge service tax. It is an exempted area. I agree, but I'm just clarifying that point. When I when I started my consulting, my income was less than ten lakh, right? So I was not covered under service tax. 
but my client was taking from the world bank but he will not pay to me because i was not registered but now because i am registered so logically i raise my bill with service tax and they pay back me the service tax so the rule which you are saying that service tax bill can only be raised if a party is registered no service tax is that concept whereby you pay for the mobiles right even though if you are not registered with service tax aap register nahi service tax mein but on your all the mobile bills you pay service tax all telephone bill you pay all electricity bill you pay are as is any one of here is registered with service tax 90% say no but still you pay service tax sir yes sir i'm just clarifying that point it's not necessary when you charge a service tax it's not necessary that opposite party no definitely it is a, it is, you see it is a indirect tax definitely when i am buying shop from a shopkeeper the 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 the, the, the shop that the shopkeeper is selling on which service tax has been added and i am buying it koi aisa usne usne aap pe charge kiya aapka number to nahi hai na sir number uska hai Hire the external services. External services. When I am talking, for example, outsource services. So before 2013 notification, what was there? Like the basic wages, then the EPF, then the ESI, and it makes uh, it makes let's say 10,000 rupees. Then the service tax has to be levied on this 10,000 total. <laughs> While these two were the statutory compulsory services. You're right. You're right. Like ESI, EPF. Right. So should uh, was that the correct formalization sir so that's the reason ki they have changed it even this was a wrong earlier they were charging on they were cutting tds on 10 which was the wrong part that's the reason immediately they made a clarification now now it is only on the gross fee in fact they didn't correct it they said ki this comes under auxiliary service and that's why exempted sir they will corrected never corrected they didn't use i agree but they will never accept their mistake na sir but logically it's a mistake it was a mistake tax pe dubai tax nahi karta hai ऑलरेडी टैक्स में टैक्स नहीं कटेगा कभी भी बिल्कुल सर आपके लिए अगर आप किसी प्राइवेट के लिए करेंगे तो होगा नहीं होता सर अल्ट एग्जाम्पल ना आई टेक माई लेक्चर फॉर आईसीआई ठीक है आई टेक माई लेक्चर आई सी आई लाइक इन लाइक इन दिस वर्कशॉप आई हैव चार्ज अ बिल आई आई विल नॉट रेज सर्विस टैक्स हेयर बिकॉज आई सी आई इज एग्जेम्ट एंड देयर फॉर इवन आई एम ऑल्सो एग्जेम्ट वेन एवर आई चार्ज आई टेक माई क्लास हेयर आई सी आई वेन एवर आई रेज अ बिल आई नेवर चार्ज अ सर्विस टैक्स क्वाइट एग्जेम्ट बट आई टेक माई क्लास इन सेटेलाइट ऑल्सो आई सी आई हैज आउटसोर्स सेटेलाइट टू समन आउटसाइड that payment is done by outside agency so outside agency is not exempted if let's suppose tomorrow i am calcutta start some distance learning courses and they outsource the payment part to the outside agency exemption will not be given to that party that party has to charge or pay service tax sir it's like that ha uh, my bank has given interest on fixed deposit on 1st of april whether it should be taken as interest receivable or it should be shown in the bank reconciliation sir, statement interest kab receive ho gaya on hai? 1st april they have credited in our account on fixed uh, deposits sir agar ah. chaliye ek doubt hai 1st april ko interest receive hua credit to 31st march ko ye kya aayega he ek ek doubt hai on 1st april their bank has credited the interest in their bank i will book it on receivable basis on 31st march i will debit the account receivable and credit the interest in as at sir isme banta hai brs theek hai i'll take a very simple example generally aise karaya tha cash book or pass only one day less as on 31st march 10000 and 10000 cash book 10000 pass book right So at least 31st March, co your both the balance are matching, na? Right? 
सो लॉजिकली इट्स ए रेलिवेंट कि फर्स्ट को आ रहा है वो फर्स्ट को योर बैंक बैलेंस इज हेयर आई एम नॉट बॉदर अबाउट दिस एंड मैम इज राइट बी आर एज बैलेंस शीट आर एज एट एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू आई एम जस्ट शेयरिंग वन मोर थिंग आई डोंट नो वेदर एनी वन एज क्लेरिफाइड दिस और नॉट पीपल जनरली से some write as on some write as at and generally we use it interchangeably both are same tell me which one we are using it as on as at <laughs> how many of you think as at 1 2 and as on baki log kya as on if you ask me as a ca i'll sign on this balance sheet I will never sign on as on. I, I will. Sir, he is clear. Karam, sign is on on as at. Sir, I will. I will. I will just in front of you. I will open the balance sheet and then let's check it. I will open the balance sheet in front of you. I can open numerous balance sheets. Good balance sheet. If a, it is prepared by a good CA, they will always read as at. Its reason is that, sir. There's a reason for it. Reason is when I signed the balance sheet. Let's say both balance sheets signed, but balance sheet when signed, होता है उसके साथ minutes में time लिखा जाता है. If I am saying let's say 5 p.m., it means after 5 p.m. in today's date, anything happens in a company accounts, I'm not responsible. But as on means 24 hours, I will be still responsible if anything happens after five till twelve midnight. No CA, no good CA will take a onus here. Never. And you check any balance sheet I'm telling you, any balance sheet. So if you are not doing it, kindly write from start, write start adding as that. That's the right word to be used. I was saying that if although you have given a lot of illustrations, number of illustrations from various banks showing at, but doesn't seem to be very convincing that it's, this at is being used for because of time. I was uh, trying to make out that if although you have given illustrations that at a uh, number of banks are using at and other balance sheets, but the justification that you have given that because of the time, the signing time, it is uh, the at is used. That doesn't seem to be very convincing because. Time is relevant, re relative term. It might, uh, it, it doesn't. Uh, uh, standard time we have, we have different. Usually, the, this as on is uh, as per the the uh, standard accounts practices that we have been doing. Uh, the time time factor doesn't seem to be very convincing. No, sir. I think uh, there's a query that uh, in as on as at. it is said ki it's a standard practice frankly speaking standard practice we always say it's not written anywhere we just see different balance sheet we see different books we say everywhere as on we followed it theek hai we follow common parallels everyone is doing it let's do it but whenever you see why the time factor whenever we say at means exactly at that point and not beyond that but it's just my way of taking it sir no sir you are thinking as a accountant as a ca point of view you see there are lot of frauds which are being done if if a bod meeting let's suppose if agm and director meeting is done in the morning and i have signed the balance in the morning if anyone has to done the changes they can do the changes and raise it So this, this, this is this convention mentioned in the uh, advance account say uh, no shukla grewal shukla grewal and it's the the, the the they are sir if you want to know the book where from where i have learned it you come to me after the class i show the book to you i show the book to you but see as on we used to follow it but after corporate governance after the lot of fraud scams no one is following as on Otherwise, just see companies like ICICI Bank, Reliance are not fools. Even they can use it as on. I can show you Reliance balance sheet. See. I can show you Vipro, Infosys. 
All good balance sheets we have that. See, banks might be using banks. Banks have a different banks have a different uh, scope. Reliance is not a bank. I know bank is Schedule 16. होते हैं Banking Regulation Act है separate है. This is revised Schedule 6. As that, any good C I'm telling you, any good C A. I am here to tell you the right thing. Any good. I know we have been following it. When I was a student, even I was told as on. Sir, time balance sheet में नहीं होता, minutes में होता है. Sir, और कोई relevance नहीं होता है. आप एक logic लगाइए तो भाई. Date तो वही है. Date तो वही रहता है. And even bank reconciliation. Take one more example. BRS. Take the example BRS. Let's suppose I am. I will open my online account. Let me open my online account and I'll do my bank reconciliation at 520. I'll write BRS. If I say BRS as on 11th May 2014, it means it's for the entire day. But is it guaranteed that after 520 I will not withdraw from ATM? If I write as at it means only till 520. If bank reconciliation, we write BRS. BRS, I can go to ATM right now after 6 o'clock. Let's say, withdraw the cash. My bank balance will change. Balance will change, sir. Cash book, I don't have entry. It's a little bit. But bank will change. So always remember, if you want to, frankly speaking, even CAG auditor, Will not write any comment on this. So we are meeting tomorrow, right? Tomorrow we'll start with 10 o'clock and we'll take the major session of fixed asset. Thank you.